as far as you know, change to your loft, so that doesn't worry me too much. But, but obviously, you know, I'm a young family. The last one wants to have that not together ever. So that's pretty, pretty hard. I'm Amy and I was diagnosed with MND when I was 27. This is Simon. We have two young children, Hannah and Georgia. Amy's parents, uh, they, they have a lot of old videos and stuff when Amy was young and even when she was uh, sort of Hannah's age, she's you know, playing with her little cousins, feeding them milk bottles and they're very, very maternal. Kids are pretty high on your priority and didn't want to leave it too late in life. So. Yeah. So managed to sneak a couple in there yeah. in time. It's very much about them too, not just Amy. I mean, Amy's the no. one with the problem, but they're the ones that are sort of trying to grow up with it, really. So it's very much they're sort of part of their story too. Yeah. Knowing that someone needs your help but not being able to support them has been pretty hard for you. Yeah. We gathered it was probably uncommon in young ladies when they're saying how a unique Amy situation with a, a newborn baby and yeah. being pregnant during its sort of establishment of, of its um, of the symptoms. Even now it's still I guess the prognosis for people isn't very long. But you know and the if you have an anomaly. Yeah, just hope you're the anomaly in the in the statistics that yeah. if it lasts a bit longer or or gets better. We had our, our wedding just before Christmas. We um, just came back from two weeks in Bali where we took the kids and, and Amy over there. That was with the, the push wheelchair. That was pretty hard going. Um, I'm glad you <laughs> managed to come across with the electric, portable electric wheelchair has been a, a godsend. Yeah, that's yeah. the one piece of equipment that we hadn't or couldn't live without. She knows that all the buttons do and drive, yeah. drives them around and stuff, which is most annoying. Yeah. I wish they came with a nice ladder switch. <laughs> People are always amazed when you tell them that M&D supplied whatever it might be that you have, that there's just a library sitting there um, without you having to pay for it or ask for more funding. Yeah, life's just starting off really, not really in finishing up, so as long as we can be a part of that, that's the, sort of the way you'd like to be. In the middle of in the middle of it, not uh, watching from the outside. I mean, it's upset because she thinks that I'll be dressing the kids <laughs> in my own style. It's pretty upsetting. <laughs> Very concerning. <laughs> <laughs> trying to keep life as normal, normal as yeah. it could be. Please give generously to MND Vic's tax appeal. So they can help people like me living with MND.